What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Pop Goddess Kara back at it again with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to give you guys my review on the Trigon Pops that I actually just got. So stay tuned. guys as i said in the intro i'm going to be showing you guys the trigon pops that i was able to get out of hot topic ironically enough i did not know that they had dropped and the reason why is because most times hot topic on the social media will let you know when pops are coming out when they're going to have them drop and you know of course limit one or two per style per customer but i know the manager at hot topic and he unfortunately put it on a on his spam page instead of the actual hot topic page so no one knew and i just happened to walk in there because i saw one of the girls that works there who i'm also friends with and i was going to talk to her while i was on my lunch break and i just happened to look over at the pop boxes right next to the register and i saw they had three of the trigon pops so i of course grabbed all three and i went up to the register and i bought them no questions asked and i am not upset about it i'm very happy that i did it now I just got to move some shelving around to try to figure out how to get this to be displayed along with my Cowboy Bebop Pops because both of them are more in the older school anime of what was around before we got, before it just blew up for America and before you can get Crunchyroll and, well, it's not really Funimation anymore because they are no longer a thing, but before all that, you could only watch it on Adult Swim, well, Toonami, back from when I was growing up. So, anyway. With all that being said, let us get into these pops. So the first one is going to be Knives right here. Now, obviously they only had three of the five pops that are actually out for Trigon. And they only have Knives left. Last time I checked, there was still two Knives left over at Hot Topic. At the one I'm at, anyway, from where I live, anyway. But yes, I do have Knives to add to my collection. And like I said, I'm going to take them all out of their boxes and we're going to do a nice little look at them a little overview of them and again hot topic is always very clutch when it comes to the crispiness of the boxes like can't can't be upset about it like that crispiness is awesome now getting them out it's a little complicated since i'm using my actual fingers and <laughs> anyway we're not going to get to that innuendo but yeah so first one we're going to take out is going to be knives i'm just going to put this over here very gently Oh, he already, he already came out. Okay. And he comes with a base stand. So that's interesting. I'm going to actually see if he can stand up on his own without the base. He can. He doesn't need a base stand. He can stand up on his own. But either way, this is a close-up of knives right here. As you can see, it's like not extremely detailed, but it is a lot of good detail in there as well. If that makes sense. I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. But there is knives for you guys. Looking pretty freaking awesome if I do say so myself. And I know there's a, um, what was it, a CGI movie or a new one that was made or episode, like a newer Trigon that was made. I haven't seen it. Just because I'm very nervous when they come to rehashing things. It doesn't always go well. Sometimes it does. But that's neither here nor there. But there we go. We have knives for you. Looking pretty dang good. Like I said, it's very simple but very detailed at the same time. If that makes any sense to you guys. So the next one is going to be Bash himself. Right here. Now I do have the one where he has his gun. I don't have the um, barrier to it. I more than likely will get that at some point. Just not anytime soon. Because I'm fairly certain that. If I was to go into like a third party site. It's going to be a little more expensive than what I'm willing to pay. I mean not by a lot. But still. I'll see if I can try to find it somewhere in stores or even like not on a third party site because I know they can't make a fake just yet because it hasn't been out that long but you never know what's like when it comes to like pops like these so next we do have bash oh, that is just freaking awesome that is freaking awesome kind of kind of have the same pose as knives which you know whatever I guess kind of wish they would have you know did a little differently like maybe put the gun in a different hand i don't i mean true being a left-handed shooter is not a very common thing but oh shoot wrong one <laughs> but we do have bash right here and i do like how they have this coat billowing out and everything like that 
It's really nice, really detailed. I'm extremely happy with how this looks. I honestly might have to uh, do a weird uh, combination of this and my Bayonetta Pops. Kind of just put them over there and make some type of a scene. I don't know. But there is Bash for you guys. Very spiky hair. Super spiky hair. I wasn't ready for that. But yes, there is Bash the Stampede for you guys. Extremely excited to have these in my collection. I was extremely excited when they announced it. Because I did not think this was going to be something we were going to make. But then again, I also did not think they were going to make Cowboy Bebop Pops. So, as of right now, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm winning. I feel like I'm winning. Like, this has been a great year. Now, if they can either go Vampire Hunter D, or if they can even bring in Gungrave, would be freaking awesome. Be nice. I know they're not going to bring Witch Hunter Robin because it wasn't a big, big anime. It wasn't very popular. It had like one season because they were able to... It was a great one season where they were able to start it, end it, and it ended very well. But I don't think they were going to make a Witch Hunter Robin pop, which is very disappointing. But hey, I will take what I can get. And the last one I'm going to show you guys that was there is going to be Nicholas Wolfhound right there for you guys. Now, honestly... Out of all of them so far that I have, out of three, I feel like this one is the best detailed. I am not going to lie on this, just from what I can see from him being in the box. As of right now, he is the best detailed pop they have for this line. I am losing my voice, so do not mind me. I'm just, I probably shouldn't be sh shooting a video while I'm super thirsty, just woke up. And with the way the weather's been, it's super dry in here, so. But. It is what it is. So we're just going to take them out of the nice little box and everything. Put this off to the side. And there you guys have it. There is Wolfhound. Now isn't that... Oh, that's just freaking amazing. Like, look at the detail for his cross. For where he has all his guns. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Like, oh my gosh. That is great detail. Even with the little cowlick happening right here. Like, oh my gosh. In all honesty, I'm glad they got these ones out now when Funko's getting better with their details than when they first started. But yes, this is freaking amazing. I absolutely love this pop. I love all of them, but I really love this. Even got the little cross cuff link. Like, oh my gosh. The amount of detail they put into this. It's very interesting because even though I know these are she's wearing shoes, it very it looks like he's just his feet. Like he's just being barefoot right now, even though I know they're shoes, but hey. It is what it is on that. But that is a nice pop right there. That is a very well detailed pop. All of them are. Like I said, I'm probably going to have them all out of box. Because these pops right here do not need to be in a box. They, they need to be displayed. And they need to be displayed very well. So I got to really put in some time and effort to think about how I want to get these out there. But man, I am not disappointed by any means with any of these. And I can't wait to be able to find... Um, Millie and Meryl, I can't wait to find them as well. I'm not 100% sure as to where they are being released at. I got to relook into that. I was just excited they made the pops. Like, that was my big thinking. Like, oh, they actually made these freaking pops. So, that's where my mind was at. I didn't think about, hey, where, where are they going to be at? Where can I pick them up at? But I am very happy that I just happened to walk into Hot Topic on that specific day when they had all three. And I just, boop, boop, and got them. But that is my review on the Trigun Pops for you guys. No, oh my gosh. So happy. Not disappointed by any means necessary. Let me know in the comment section if you plan to get them or if you already got them or if you're not a fan of it at, at all. Either way, just let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.